Good morning. Welcome to the podcast. This is Cindy Berkland from cindyberkland.com and we get to talk about our favorite thing today, procrastination. And I wanted to talk about this today because I started thinking about, you know, I've been, it's tax season and I've spent some time with my accountant and um, I've had some horrendous years um, with uh, my CPA and accountant and I, I call it the love-hate relationship. You love them when, when you're not paying taxes and you hate them when you are. But I wanted, I wanted to share a story about something that I did and I learned a really important lesson about procrastination. But before I tell that story, I want to share a really uh, powerful quote from Dale Carnegie and I thought this was super um, uplifting and it was very reality and it says inaction breeds doubt and fear action breeds confidence and courage and that's by Dale Carnegie so I'm going to repeat that inaction breeds doubt and fear action breeds confidence and courage so I want to start with a story I want to tell you about um, maybe three or four years ago um, I hadn't been doing my taxes and can you imagine me the money person I'm a financial planner you know I'm in the money business and I wasn't doing my taxes and I'm going to tell you why after the disaster with 2008 um, I was left in ruins I lost a building and I had a um, huge loan um, on my building and the building had been foreclosed on and um, SBA was claiming I still owed them hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And over time, they started taking my taxes as I would file tax returns, they would take them. And I got so discouraged, I just stopped filing my taxes because I'm like, they're just going to take this money. And I had just fallen into despair because I'm like, I don't know how I'm ever going to get out from underneath this. So I just gave up and I decided not to do anything and I stuck my head in the sand knowing this was not the answer but it seemed so big and overwhelming that I just ignored it and I want to say four years went by and I I was talking to a very dear friend of mine and he kept saying you need to go see my uh, attorney friend who happens to be a CPA and he has a doctorate degree in tax law and he knows IRS rules and regulations, please go see him. And another six months to a year went by and finally, I just had enough and I was so sick with worry. I mean, this was the one thing that kept me up at night all the time. I would worry and worry about this. And I called this, this tax attorney and I told him my situation. He goes, Cindy, I want you to bring me everything you have, every stitch of paperwork you have on this building. Well, I'm going to fast forward this story. I went in to see him. I brought him everything I had. And he said, Cindy, I need to explain something to you. The type of foreclosure that you have, um, this debt was wiped out in that foreclosure. You owe them nothing. And mind you, also, this debt is over 10 years old. And we're not only going to file all your tax returns, but you're getting money back on every single return. So I went from owing in my head hundreds of thousands of thousands of dollars to getting tax money back on my returns every year because I had suffered so many losses on my building, buildings and all those, those losses roll over. So the basically what I'm telling you this for is because in one day, and I cried all the way home from his office, because I just couldn't believe I spent all those years and all those sleepless nights and having so much anxiety only to find out that I never owed them that money in the first place. And they were sending me all these scary letters and I just didn't know what to do. And literally within spending 30 minutes with my attorney CPA friend, we were getting me thousands and thousands of dollars back in tax returns. So I want to say this. When I saw this quote last week about inaction breeds doubt and fear, that is the story that I was living for almost six years. I was terrified. And when I took action, 
it changed everything into that day I took action. I felt so much courage, even though I did not know what I was looking at. But today I have so much confidence over my finances because I took action on a really ugly thing. So if this is your story, guys, get a hold of me. I have amazing people that I work with that can help you because sometimes it might be taking the first step of getting something fixed before we can go on to the next step of growing your wealth. So get a hold of me, cindyberkland.com. Let's have a conversation and let's stop procrastinating.